Thank you for coming back. We are going to have waves, the speed of sound waves. All right. So we are going to study this and work out some of the concepts in it. Now, as you study physics, just remember, you can improve gradually, continuously. So you improve bit by bit, one step at a time. And after today's lesson, I'm sure you would have improved some more. All right. Once again, I would like to remind you to do well in physics, to be able to understand physics much better, you will need to do output revision. It means that you are not just going to read your reference books over and over again. It doesn't help very much. What helps is answering questions, doing what I'm going to do with you now. At the end of this lesson, it is my hope that you will be able to solve calculation problems that involves sound waves. Let us look at the question now. Number 34. The diagram shows an ultrasonic wave transmitted from a boat to the seabed to determine the depth D of the sea. The speed of the ultrasonic waves in water is 1,500 meters per second. The echo of the waves is received two seconds after the transmission. The question is, what is the value of D? In other words, we have to calculate the depth D. Now, this is very simple. But how is it that so many students make mistakes with a simple problem like this? Read the question again. All right. I'm going to guide you step by step. The speed of the waves, 1,500 meter per second. I'm going to write this down. It's good to write down. Even though it is given in the question, we write it down. All right. So, the speed, all right, I can call it V, of the waves equals to 1,500 meter per second. Sorry, meter per second, all right? Now, what about the second one? The echo of the waves is received two seconds after the transmission. Now, what does it mean? Look at the diagram. It means that we send the waves, ultrasonic waves. After that, it is reflected. Get it? From the point of sending to the point of receiving the signals of the waves. Alright? And that takes two seconds. I'm going to color it again. Two seconds after the transmission. The echo of the waves is received. You get the point? So, in other words, I'm going to ask a question. The time, two seconds, I will write down. The time is, I just put down T, two seconds. Alright, so I have two quantities here, two values. Now, my question is this. When the time is two seconds, what is the value or what is the distance? Is it D or 2D? Ah, look at the diagram again. From the boat to the seabed, that is D. And it comes back. So it's 2D. Alright? So the distance that we have is actually 2D. Because it says, the echo of the waves is received 2 seconds after transmission. All right. So at the point of transmission is here. After transmission it receives the signal it is here. All right. So it is 2d. Now after you have had these values it becomes easy now. All right. Let me collect these values because I'm bringing it to another page. All right, now we have these values. So where do we go from here now? This is V, T, all right, distance equals to 2D. So the simple calculation now is we use distance divided by time 
because the speed is a constant speed, this gives us the speed. All right. For constant value of speed, speed equals to distance divided by time. So now I want to calculate what is d, all right, the distance. So I write down distance will give me speed of the waves times time, all right, speed times time. I use bracket to denote multiplication. So what is the total distance travel? 2d, all right, I write down 2d equals to speed. What is the speed? 1,500 meter per second times time. What is the time? 2 seconds. Alright. So, once you work this out, and by the way, this is the time where you can take out your calculator. Not from the start. You write it down first, step by step. The last step, then only you use the calculator. All right, so from here, I would have D equals to 1500 0, 0, multiplied by 2. I will divide by 2, all right? And the units is, up there is meter, all right? So, that is the distance. And the answer, the final answer is 1500 meters. Now, actually, this question is an objective question. But I do not want to give you the answer A, B, C, D, E. Because I would like you to think of the problem and see how you can work it out step by step. All right. In fact, whether a question is an objective, multiple choice question or otherwise, this is the method to study. Where you go through step by step, write it down. And remember, as you look at my answer, every step of the way, my units is completely written down. So it is very good. If you don't write down the units, you will not be able to get your full marks. Let me tidy this up a little bit, please. So the answer is 1,500, 1,500 meters. All right. That is the distance. We want to calculate D. All right. So this again, we have fulfilled our learning outcome because by now you would have learned okay you are able to solve numerical problems involving the speed all right of sound waves because when we talk about sound waves there are many different aspects of the calculation and this is one of the many aspects all right so once again i would like to thank you for joining me in this session and may god bless you i'll see you again the next time round <music>